Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back. You're tuned to ITV and Sayyid Global Productions Quick and Easy Cooking. Getting so tongue tied today because it's Eid. You know, it's the festivities of Eid and it's days of Ayyamun Nahar, the Talbiya that has to be called, you know. So we're praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our mind is all in all the ibadat. We hope that you're making the most of these 10 days of Zil Hijjah. And uh, um, Hajj Mabrut, all the Hajj Hujjaj out there, the fortunate ones who are able to make it there. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept it from you and I hope you may dua for the Ummah and you hope, uh, we hope that you may dua for all humanity to be in state of well-being inshallah and uh, we're sharing with you a wonderful program a wonderful recipe a chicken kalia and uh, it's not a karaya uh, just to remind you because it's much more gravy and you can have it with naan and roti etc but let's tell you about our itv quick and easy recipe book this book is extremely um, popular and uh, yes i've been receiving calls recently from the United States, from Washington DC actually, to be precise, they want a copy of this book. So Alhamdulillah, we might have to go into reprint. So uh, let's hope we can get there, inshallah. The, all these recipes that we are doing now, inshallah, will also go into uh, a recipe book and we hope that you'll be part of this. So do share your comments with us. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Send your comments, criticism, and I'd like to thank all those wonderful people who've communicated with us. You've learned a lot. Alhamdulillah, that's all that matters. And that you're sharing this with your family because food brings family together. Even if you're not together, the thought of having spent these meals together brings back fond memories. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring back all those wonderful days, inshallah. Today, I'm gonna, now I'm going to be sharing with you while our, um, and uh, if the camera can just zoom in. While this is getting done, now can you see this is showing it's almost done? Uh, the geese begin to separate from the meat. Wow, how's the aroma, Peru? Yes, is <laughs> it? Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to very quickly add the carrots. Okay, let that steam with it. You don't have to put carrots, but I do. Uh, uh, potatoes small potatoes. I'm not going to be putting in the beetroot now because it's going to change the whole look of the kalia and I don't want that. I'm just going to put it as a topping before serving. You can even put boiled eggs to this but uh, we're going to keep it simple. Quick and easy if you want boiled eggs. My, a personal favorite of mine. Uh, eggs is so versatile so alhamdulillah you can add boiled eggs to the dish as well. Okay let's do that and uh, close the pot and share with you another very important household tip. This is the red onion. And what did I tell you in the previous program? The red, the vegetable, the more oxidation, the more antioxidant it is, the greater the, uh, the, the benefits. It helps for breathing, it helps for extracting toxins from the body. So we're gonna do a direct um, health tip and it's amazing because this has also been shared in the Maldives. It's been, it's originated in the subcontinent as well. So what you'll need is a cut and cleaned red onion what you do is you slice it right so i had to use a big knife slice it is in as many uh, slices as possible which i'm showing you right now it's a beautiful it's a beautiful uh, veg uh, it has so many benefits for, for it actually helps for breathing etc and i've got a red flannel with it oh, sorry that I, i've got a red flannel here with me also extracts the, the cold from the body and brings in heat into the body. I'm not a professional chef when it comes to cutting onions like this. I use a small knife and I go very fast. But because it's a big onion, I had to use a big knife. So all you do is cut it. You don't even have to cut it, but it makes the task easier for what I'm going to show you. This has been shared all over, but we've been talking about the benefits of the red onion all over. You'll need also, this is, a, it's got history behind it. It's, it's, it's an ashtray that my husband bought me as a gift. I don't smoke, but just as a memento on our honeymoon 40 years ago when we were in Swaziland. So this is handmade in Swaziland. So this is the handmade ashtray in Swaziland, a honeymoon gift. And we use it in the moon. I'm going to put everything into the sock, uh, which is a flannel bag. Very fortunate to be having a flannel bag still. It's one of the old fashioned uh, remedies of treating um, croup with my kids uh, to make put uh, roll and seed oil and garam masala, believe it or not, and it would extract all the toxins in the chest. So, um, then now that's in there, this is what you do. Until the liquid comes to the top, 
you need a very strong table to can you see the liquid coming up for the rest can you see the liquid get the water once this comes up whether it's the back or front it's fine and for a person who is suffering from severe breathing problems as well a lots of phlegm in the chest to extract it and to make breathing easier uh, try everything you know uh, this is a tried and tested recipe that was done years and years and years uh, actually in uh, northwest uh, province of um, the northwest pro uh, provinces actually now today is afghanistan for our ancient uh, families uh, they were doctors in <laughs> themselves treated this so so even at the back you see it's quite moist what you do then now because it's easy for me i can just close this and apply this directly onto the chest apply this directly onto the chest or onto the or onto the back wherever there's a breathing problem it's not a very nice smell it's fine as long as you're going to feel better after it so put it for an hour or two or leave it for the night you know on, onto the chest until it absorbs all the uh, the you uh, know uh, until the person feels comfortable enough or you can put it into a sock uh, whatever i've done here or put in uh, put it directly in, instead of putting into a bag putting into a sock it absorbs all the toxins from the body and extracts all the uh, terrible things that's not supposed to be there i'm just going to mix uh, crush it a bit more to show you that water must come out that the moisture from the red onion must actually come to the surface now if you can see closely into the camera can you see this difference of color between the wet and the dry so this is what actually extracts all the uh, toxins into and uh, in, in the phlegm from the chest inshallah with that i'm just going to put this to the side to show you okay that's a home remedy that i just shared with you sharing also household tips i know there's somebody that's asked me to share how to cut a pineapple again i will do that in another program i do have the pineapple here but for now we need to go back to our our um, dish and see how it's doing can you just zoom in there right see it's sticking on the pot it shows it's ready you ready to put into the dish for showing the final product are we ready for the progress How's aroma parvez? Food is all about aroma, taste and appearance. I hope you're going to enjoy this with your family inshallah. So as it's standing in the pot, it is still simmering parvez. I'm going to leave it for a few seconds while I prepare the plate for the for the meal. As I showed you earlier that you have a bakery down the road here and they have naans made individual uh, mini naans. So you can serve this with mini naan or you can serve it with roti and this roti alhamdulillah is brown roti healthy brown roti or you can serve it with full ghee roti is up to you right time for the big moment brother pervez all the favorite parts that you want can you see the color pervez it's not black it is reddish yellowish you can even make it even more red There's some uh, carrots there as well. White meat. As I said, you can even put boiled eggs in this. Can you see the gravy? It's nice and fine and thick. There we go. Get some potatoes in there. And this is when I put. the beetroots now i'm going to put uh, the other half in the pot and let it simmer also to show you what it the color becomes when you add the beetroot to the curry okay let me take one more out from there that in the stove is still hot there so i'm just going to put this back in a while we'll take this out again while i just garnish this here important is to always have your garnishing fresh garnishing from your garden or wherever the red chilies from my younger sister in law fresh organic green chilies from our market garden down the road 
And this is how we would serve it. Can you see the red is already taking into the, onto the other, the, into the meat and the carrots as well, the red of the beetroot. There we go. So, quick and easy kalya, chicken kalya for your eat dish to grace your eat table, inshallah. Hope you enjoy that, inshallah. But let's go back very quickly to our pot. See that color? And now see this color that's added becomes even more red. Can you see this color, please? So, this is a redder color. Once you put the beetroot on, and if you want the beetroot to be even softer, you can leave it back on the stove just to simmer a bit more so you that your other beetroots, uh, that the beetroots get nice and fine. But the thing is, uh, one of my favorites I didn't add, which is um, boiled eggs. So it makes for the perfect, complete dish with the boiled eggs. Well, there you have it. We hope that this will grace your eat table, inshallah, as it's going to do mine. Quick and easy kalia, chicken kalia recipe. A must in almost every home on Eid night. I know many of them have it for uh, Eid uh, lunch, but at my place it's more for Eid night. And uh, we hope that you will enjoy it. Some are going to do the mutton one, so wish you luck with that. It's going to be tender kurbani meat if you're doing it, inshallah. We hope they're going to try that, inshallah. We don't want you to send it to the kitchen all the time, but yes, we hope that you're going to hear, have the innards of the, of the kurbani as well. Hope you're cutting it home. Hope you're going to have all those little pieces. It's so good for the body, inshallah. And you hope that you're going to remember the ummah all around the world, those who can't even see a live animal, let alone slaughter it. Remember them in your du'as. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unite us, give us success in this world and the next. May He heal the entire, entire humanity. The world is suffering at the moment. May Allah's mercy depend, uh, descend on all of us and may we depend on Him only. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring joy and happiness to every home on this Eid day because no matter what the situation is, even if you've lost a loved one, as as we have four in our family, but bring joy into your home. Smile on this day because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to celebrate. Life is a gift. Death is a gift. Uh, sickness is a purification. So we never lose out. As a, as a believing Muslim, we never, never lose out. We hope that you will enjoy doing this as much as I enjoy showing it to you. Do join us in a future program and don't forget to uh, send your comments, uh, whether it's on Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube. Say Global Productions, ITV. We'd like to thank the, the team, Brother Perwez, and all those that contributed towards making this program a great success. We wish you a very, very, very warm Eidun Sa'idun. It's a greater Eid. It's a day that we sacrifice, also in the tradition of a great woman. Hazrat Hajra radiallahu uh, anha, Hajj ritual is not complete with Safa Marwa. So uh, also to her and all the great women who fought the great battles of Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala elevate us all inshallah. Just a final look at the one in the pot here, Brother Purwes. Uh, the color is completely different from the one that we have in the plate. Can you see it's gone much more red? So yes, either one you do quick and easy while we were talking it all got done. Enjoy the dish, enjoy making it once again. And from our, the team and, my, and myself, a very warm Eid Mubarak and wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.